Mathematics 6, Quarter 1, Week 9 Today, we are going to talk about Differentiate, Terminating from Repeating Non-Terminating Decimal Quotients But before we further go on, let's have first a short exercise. Complete the table. Divide the following decimals by 10, by 100, and by 1000. Number 1, 14 and 8 tenths. Number 2, 2763 and 32 hundredths. Number 3, 129 and 74 hundredths. Number 4, 88 and 29 hundredths. And number 5, 212 and 73 hundredths. You may start. Divide 10, 1 and 48 hundredths. Divide 100, 148 thousandths. And divide 1000, the answer, 148 ten thousandths. 276 and 332 thousandths. 27 and 6,332 ten thousandths 2 and 76,332 hundred thousandths 12 and 974 thousandths 1 and 2,974 ten thousandths and 12,974 hundred thousandths Next, 8 and 829 thousandths. Next, 8,829 ten thousandths. Next, 8,829 hundred thousandths. And the last, 21 and 273 thousandths. 2 and 1,273 ten thousandths. And the last, and the last, 21,273,000. Let's have a problem opener. Mr. Manalo bought one third kilograms of lanzones. The reading on the scale was 33 hundredths. Did Mr. Manalo get what he bought? How did you get 33 hundredths? Let us now analyze the problem. 1 divided by 3 equals n. 1 divided by 3, so we cannot divide 1 by 3. So we need to add 0 and then affix the decimal point. We also need to write the 0 at the top of our quotient, then the decimal point. Then 10 divided by 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Now, 10 minus 9 is 1. So we need to add 0 again and then bring down the 0. So 10 divided by 3 is also 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. 10 minus 9 is 1. So here we have the quotient 33 hundredths. So this is now Mr. Manalo bought. So based from the problem, it is correct.
the numbers are repeating. When dividing, there are digits that repeat no matter how many zeros are added. The remainders are not zeros. These are called repeating or non-terminating decimals. The digit or set of digits that are repeat is called repeated. Usually, a bar is written over the numerals that are repeated. Let's have another example. 2 divided by 11, so we cannot divide 2 by 11, so we need to write 0 and then affix the decimal point. And we will do the same in our quotient. So we will write 0 and the decimal point. Now 20 divided by 11 is 1. 1 times 11 is 11. 20 minus 11 is 9. So we need now to write again 0 and then bring down the 0. So it will become 90. 90 divided by 11 is 8. 8 times 11 is 88. So we need to subtract 90 by 88. So the answer is 2. Then we will add again 0. Then bring down the 0 again. Then 20 divided by 11 is 1. 1 times 11 is 11. And then subtract 20 by 11. So that is also again 9. So we will add again 0, and then it will become 90. 90 divided by 11 is 8. So 8 times 11 is 88. As you observe, our quotient here is also again a repeating decimals or non-terminating decimal. Let's have another one. 66 divided by 4 equals n. So 66 by 4. So we, we will divide now the first 6 by 4. It will become 1. 1 times 4 is 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. Bring down 6. So it will become 26. So 26 by 4 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. So, 26 minus 24 is 2. So, now we will add again a 0 and then affix the decimal point. So, we need to bring down the added 0. So, it will become 20. So, 20 divided by 4 is 5 and then we need to affix again the decimal point. So, 5 times 4 is 20. And then the, the remainder is 0. So, the answer here is 16 and 5 tenths. So, this is a kind of terminating decimal. It's because our remainder is 0. Let us now divide and tell whether the quotient is terminating or non-terminating decimal. Number 1, 12 divided by 7. Number 2, 11 divided by 9. Number 3, 5 divided by 2. Number 4, 4 divided by 83. And number 5, 45 divided by 150. You may now start. The answer for number one is repeating decimal. Number two, repeating decimal. Number three, terminating decimal. Number four, repeating decimal. And number five, terminating decimal.
Let us now find the quotients, then indicate whether it is terminating or non-terminating decimal. Number 1, 2 divided by 3. Number 2, 4 divided by 6. Number 3, 5 divided by 11. Number 4, 1 divided by 2. And number 5, 2 divided by 7. You may now start. Number 1, it is repeating decimal. Number 2, repeating decimal. Number 3, repeating decimal. Number 4, it is terminating decimal. And number 5, it is repeating decimal. Now, how did you differentiate between terminating from repeating decimal? We divide the numbers if the quotient never ends. It is repeating decimal. When the division terminates or come to an end with a zero remainder, it is terminating decimal. Now, find out which of the following are terminating decimals and repeating decimals. Number 1, 70 divided by 14. Number 2, 9 divided by 16. Number 3, 9 divided by 13. Number 4, 3 divided by 14. And number 5, 99 divided by 11. You may now start. Number 1, it is terminating decimal. Number 2, terminating decimal. Number 3, repeating decimal. Number 4, repeating decimal. And number 5, terminating decimal. Let us now summarize the lesson. How do you differentiate between terminating and non-terminating decimal? A repeating or non-terminating decimal results when the division never ends. A bar is placed above the repeatant. A terminating decimal results when the division terminates or comes to an end with a zero remainder. Now, let's have an exercise. Solve and identify if the decimal quotient is a terminating or repeating or non-terminating decimal. 
Number 1, 7 divided by 4. Number 2, 15 divided by 9. Number 3, 3 divided by 16. Number 4, 11 divided by 2. And number 5, 6 divided by 27. You may now write your answer on your notebook. You may now start. The answer for number 1 is terminating decimal. Number 2, repeating decimal. Number 3, terminating decimal. Number 4, terminating decimal. And number 5, it is a repeating decimal. Now, let's have your final activity. You may write your answer on a piece of paper, send it by a messenger for checking. Find the quotient and differentiate the quotient if it is a terminating decimal or repeating decimal. Number 1, 2 divided by 9. Number 2, 8 divided by 9. Number 3, 13 divided by 16. Number 4, 1 divided by 6 and number 5 9 divided by 45 you may now start I hope you learned something today. Goodbye! Salamat!